Gosh darn stupid chucks. <sighs> Good thing we got another one. I think this one worked yesterday when I used, or the other day when I used the air tank. I'm not, not too entirely sure. So what uh, you gotta do is, these things don't like to stay on here. Well, this one is. You kinda gotta find the sweet spot with them to, uh, so that they'll, so that they'll quit leaking air like this one's doing. But it's not doing it as bad as that other one is. Or maybe you gotta, you gotta open this little guy here to the left. Come on, you piece of junk. What the, what the hell? I don't know, that thing's full. I don't know. Go, we'll go try and put air in the feed car tire and see, uh, and just see what happens. Yeah, I know. The cows haven't been fed yet because the tire left flat. And that was the one we just replaced too. What the hell? And for those of you that, you know, go to my church or whatever and say that, you know, I need to quit cussing, well, there's, there's words that, that God, uh, let me just put it this way. God made words, the vocabulary, and, uh, he said that, uh, you fucker. God damn it. There, now you ain't going up no fucking. Good enough. Don't care. It's just a feed cart. There. It rolls a lot easier now. Now you guys will get fed. I won't video that because you guys have seen me feed the cows before. Uh, this tire over here is still the original tire. Mm. Oh shoot, that one's going low too. Look at that. But uh, these are hard filled tires. Uh, for uh, um, that we're on here from like oh I don't know the 1900s I want to say maybe is there a tag on this cart I don't know if there's a tag on this cart that must have been a patch or something we'll have to wait till we get it empty and but it's a good old, nice old feed cart. Um, I can remember when I was little, helping dad, you know, feed the cows in the mornings, you know, push the feed cart and that, uh, down through the alley way here. And he would, uh, he would uh, feed the cows and I'd push. And then I got to be a little bit bigger. He let, let me feed the cows and, uh, that is uh, how we did it uh, when I was, oh, probably five, six, somewhere in that range. I couldn't remember. I don't, I don't imagine I was any smaller than doing it.
The question, how many of you guys think I should grow out some more facial hair for winter or clean shaven, huh? Let's take a vote. Let's take a vote. I figured, what the heck, you know, winter time, I got a little bit going on, so let so you guys decide. Every farm shop's got to have beverages. And I go for the, the regular stuff. Everybody else drinks the diet. I like the regular. Um, Dad won't get that for me. So I had my wonderful, loving uh, younger sister get that for me. So, yeah. So, thank you for getting that for me. Uh, you know darn well who you are. So... No names, please. We're over there working on the combine. Rangers are still sleeping. And my gator is still clean. Yeah, for those of you that have the uh, 835M, 820, no, the 825 is okay. 835, 840, eight, no, 835MR865, you will want to come up with some kind of a fuel rock or a fuel nozzle rock because uh, to hold the fuel flow open on these things, um, because of how tight the neck is on the fuel fill. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was easier to come up with a fuel rock than, uh, you know, standing out in the rain or something pumping gas. And as of now, not just a little bit over half a tank of gas. Um, let's see. Nope. Wrong thing. I didn't want that. Gotta wait for it to clear. 60 miles on tank of gas. So far. So, 16, uh, 1,644 miles. Or, uh, engine hours, I mean. Oops. But, since, uh, you know, I got to go and, um, I like pulling in to, so I don't risk backing into stuff. Yeah, they're like, oh, that's so annoying. It's like, and you sign my paycheck, how? Or I mean, I'm like thinking in my head, and you sign my paycheck? <laughs> nope, dad does, so. Or no, mom does. So, yeah. It's a family affair. Yeah, since the field's nice and solid, um, I might as well just go this way. And then when the field is all muddy and everything, um, we will go uh, the other way. So... You had to put the hoe right in the way. <sighs> Darn it. So I've been sent back for some more um, skid plates for this, for the head. Um, 
six more at least they need to get. Uh, these are what I was sent after. You can see how that one's got a hole rub through it. Ooh, shiny. Um, uh, I need six more. Could just put some duct tape over that or maybe I'll see if he wants to fill the thing full of silicone. Oh yeah, he's got plenty of them here. Two, three, four. Three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just as Pete said, because whatever Pete wants, Pete gets. So, oops. Didn't mean to shut that out. Now it'll take forever for that thing to turn back on again. But, oh well. Such is life. I guess it was my fault. I should have pulled it out a little bit. Now it's going. And I think we left a hole up here. Yep, there it is right there for me to... Uh... Oh, I thought we left a hole over there. Did we? I think we did. Yeah, right along there it looks like. So, I'll pull that little bit there away from that beam that I can just, oh no, I can't. No, I can't. I can't get through there. Darn it. Let me just try and go up this way here. Fall and break my neck. And then you guys will wonder where the heck has Northeast Ohio Farmer been? Oh, he got involved in a farming accident trying to okay yeah there's we made the hole over here this time okay so i'm gonna bring you back once i get my straw knocked all down if i remember right it took like 12 bales or so to do this barn i'm thinking if i'm thinking right uh you know what i shouldn't be cutting these bales up here because i got a place i'll place them uh down there and then that way I can uh, place them where I want them and not have a big old mess of straw to try and fork all over the place. We got us a cat fight about to happen. They don't agree with each other for the most part. Is that you up there making all that noise? Yeah? What you making all that noise for? Huh? What you up there making all that noise for? You don't like the other kitty? Okay. I'll just go back to bed in my barn. Yeah, I know I'm too stubborn to uh, use a ladder. Oh, well, I got a ladder here. Um, but, you know, it's it just all, it's just some gates and stuff that are stacked up and all that stuff. Now, if that wagon makes it to the, to the pit, to the straw box, I'll be happy with myself. That's one thing I like about loading off of the loft is you can, you can really stack the last couple layers up, just throw them off the, the side over there and you know all that stuff so i think i got enough straw knocked down um that i can uh go ahead and start cutting these bales apart where i want them and then we'll get to spreading there we go it's all better now except for just this last little bit here so Good enough. 
I think we're like three bales too much, but it's always better to have too much and not enough. At least in my mind. I just love standing up here looking down at that. Knowing that the cows got fresh bedding. I was uh, watching Haysinger Farms this morning. Uh, just from what I could tell, he's got a Ford. I believe he said it was a 555 uh, C or something of that nature. This is an old. This is a uh, 60. What the heck is it? 1960. Seven, 4400 Ford diesel. Um, I know the 4500s were diesel, but there's a couple of people that have argued with us that this isn't a Ford 4400 diesel. Well, it most certainly is a Ford 4400 diesel because it wouldn't... And I don't know if you can see it on this, on this side. Shoot, drop my light. But, uh, no, you can't see it. Shoot. Now, I know a Ford uh, gas 3400 or 4400 wouldn't have uh, injector lines like this thing does. Um, but... It does have injector lines to it, and it's got injectors. Um, gasoline version of the Ford uh, engine would have a distributor and a carburetor. This does not have a carburetor. Um, that's just, you know, the long and the short of it. You know, people, oh, this is not a Ford. You don't have a Ford 4400 diesel. They've never made... They've never made a Ford 4400 diesel. Well, let me tell you, we got one, and I don't see a carburetor anywhere, so you're full of cow manure. Now, what makes this thing even more weird is, is right here, the blue paint, okay? Now, I don't remember what this bracket was for or if anything, maybe the cab bolted to it or a heat houser or something bolted off of this, but there's blue paint there on the steering column. There's blue paint there. There's blue paint there. There's blue paint right there on the top of the transmission tower. There's blue paint on the shifter. There is... Well, I thought there was blue paint on this fender. But, yeah. And there is a different color of paint right there. I noticed on this hoe, I was picking around on it. You can see right there. It's a different color of yellow. So... That makes me to believe that this hoe, or back hoe, was painted, was this being the third original color, was it went from blue to caterpillar yellow to um, that color yellow, which, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's strange because, you know, I guess there's a little bit there on the cylinder, yep, yeah, of caterpillar yellow. Um, but I don't see any blue on the hoe. And that makes me to believe that this hoe was, is an aftermarket hoe. That this is not the original hoe for this, for this back. See, there's the... The caterpillar yellow right there, right at the bottom of the swing, the swing frame right there, right where the light is. Actually, there's both colors of that yellow right there. Um, and uh, 
but you can't see, you don't see any, any of that Ford tractor blue on the hoe anywhere. Um, you just don't. So maybe this, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine this thing being painted two different colors. Um, you know, I think what had happened was, uh, I remember, remember Grandpa saying that this come from Brimfield Cemetery. They used it for many, many years. And there's the hours on this thing. For those of you that are, that are interested. Um, but, yeah. And this is where the hydraulic oil goes in this thing, is in this, in this tower right here. And that's the, the full line right there where my grandfather put that tape. Um, you put the hydraulic oil in the tower, then you take a stick and uh, you check it that way. Um, so you know what you got in it. But looking over this thing, I don't see any blue on the tie rod or anything like that. Uh, the only place that I see blue is on that transmission tower. Um, you don't see it on the the loader. The only thing I see is blue grease from when we greased it last. But, and that is aftermarket because I put that on there myself. That quick attach thing. Um, but, the only thing I don't, I don't see any blue on this. So like I says, oh, what's that? What's that right there? What's that right there? That's blue. That's a trace of blue. So, yeah, at one time this was blue. It, it makes me to believe that this was blue at one time. I know, I know for a fact because of that being blue. So, this is just one of those weird pieces of equipment that that every farm has to, that every farm has. So, this here is an old water truck GMC. Used to have a dump bed on it. Fire department bought it. They turned it into a water tanker. Now we got it to water our roads, haul roads, stuff like that. It's homemade as any other water truck is. But um, it's just, yeah, there's no blue back here. Um, just that odd, that odd paint, which, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, but yeah, I don't see any of that Ford tractor blue on the hoe. I just, I don't. Um, there's that caterpillar yellow down there but that's about it so I don't see any in the valve bank that goes up to the spool or the levers but like I says I don't know <laughs> so if you guys could help me out with this one I'd appreciate it thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time now to clean the dirt up that Pete made. Holy crap. <coughs> I said to him, I said, you need to blow combine off more often.